In this problem, we are trying to distinguish between what are called dependent and independent quantities or variables. When you have a linear equation uh, like these, one variable depends on the other variable. If you look at this graph here, we have the cost, what it costs to mail a package along the y-axis here, and the weight of the package in pounds. And if you've tried to mail a package at the post office, you know that the cost depends on the weight. Uh, if it weighs more, it's going to cost more. They'll charge you more for that. And when we represent these things in graphs, we almost always put the independent variable on the x-axis and the dependent variable on the y-axis. So here, the independent variable is the weight. Your package can weigh whatever it wants. The dependent variable is the cost, because the cost will be affected by the weight of the package. Let's look at the second one. It says a family is going to paint their house. The table below provides or shows how the area to be painted influences the amount of paint needed. And there they've just told you the answer. The table below shows how the area to be painted influences the amount of paint needed. So the amount of paint is being affected by the area you need to paint. You know, the bigger the area you need to paint, the more paint you're going to need. So again here, the x is our independent variable. So that's the area. And the dependent variable, the one that's affected by that, is the amount of paint you need. So just remember, the dependent variable is affected by the independent variable. And almost always, the independent variable is the x, and the dependent variable is the y.